Shalom, Yasharala. I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kradash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Shalom to all the Akim out there teaching his word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to all the Akwaf listening in today, man. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled, They Are Confederate Against Thee. Alright? Because all these heathen nations are there in joint alliance in coming up against the Israelites, man. And making sure that we don't know the true names of our power, that we have no remembrance of who we were or how much of a great nation that we actually are, man. Alright, so these nations, they actually got together, made an agreement to, you know, keep us in this low state that we're in. Alright, to keep us in this derision, to keep us from our power, man. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into the scriptures, man. And we're going to... Uh, uh, we're going to start off here <clears throat> at Psalms chapter 83. Start at the top. And it reads, Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and have consulted against thy hidden ones. All right. And you know, that's exactly what these other nations have done, man. They've all come together in their crafty council and they have, you know, uh, formed an agreement that they should basically, uh, you know, we should basically never come into the knowledge of who we truly are, man, or how great we are as a people or the names of our true power. All right, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay? And because they know that the moment the Heavenly Father is on our side, they lose their power, man. So you see, this this is it's almost like a Game of Thrones. All right, I'm not even too familiar with Game of Thrones, by the way. So if this has no correlation, then it's a lucky. But yeah, man, you know, in the sense that everyone is fighting to get to the top. And they know that the only way for the other nations to stay on top is by having the Israelites in this state of confusion, man. This state of derision. The, uh, you know, calling on, 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 on Jesus, you know, believing in other gods, you know, following the ways of Islam, because they know that's not the ways of the truth, man. Why do you think you don't see these guys, your small hats and the media coming up against those Islam dons, man? All right, the, Isra the Jakes that are involved in Islam or involved in Christianity, but the ones that are involved in this Hebrew Israelite thing, that's the ones that their eyes are on, man. So that, hey, you know what they say, the proof is in the pudding. What more proof do you need, man, that this is the truth right here? All right? Because it's met with so much resistance, all right? Psalms 83 and 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more may be no more in remembrance. And that's exactly what they've done, man. You know, during the hardcore slavery that we served, they literally whipped our all knowledge of the truth that we had man all right we was whipped on our backs and tortured in many ways until we called on the name of jesus or whatever other false god that they wanted us to call on man all right so you know we literally had our knowledge our history whipped out of us man beaten out of us tormented out of us all right let's read that again psalms 83 and 4 they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Because that's the only way these other nations can retain their power, man. Is if the um, the Israelites, um, you know, if our power forsakes us. Okay. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. What does that mean? That means that, you know, all these other nations agreed on this. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, man. Let's keep these, let's keep these Israelites in derision. Let's keep them away from their real power. And that way we can always stay in power. All right? Because, you know, according to Psalms chapter 49, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, man. So these devils, they genuinely feel, even though they've had a look at Project Looking Glass and the end is inevitable, there's nothing you can do about it. They still feel in their pride that there's some way, there is some way where they can sort of uh, 
what's the word, rewrite prophecy or overwrite prophecy and, and continue to be ruling in this state of perpetual wickedness, man. And that's just not, that's, that's not what's, wi Salaki. that's not what is written and that's not what's about to happen, man. All right. Right now, we're going through the birth pains of our kingdom, man. And, you know, similar to when a woman actually has her birth pains, closer to the child actually being delivered is where the pains would be uh, the most intense, man. So, you know, we are waiting, you know, we're in the process of our kingdom being birthed. And with that, is is uh is going to be a, a hard ride man it's not going to be it's not going to be all smooth sailing okay uh verse 6 or oh, let's start at verse 5 again for they have consulted with one consent they are confederate against thee the tabernacles of edom all right you so called white people and the ishmaelites all right you arabs of moab the chinese and the hagarenes all right which is the uh, Another form of you Ishmaelites, same with Gabal and Ammon, you Japanese, and Amalek, you know, you small hats. Um, the Philistines, which are, uh, uh, you know, your, um, your modern day Africans or your, your, your Hamites, all right, with the inhabitants of Tari, Ashur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. Salah, you know, so they've all these other nations, all right, all these heathen nations are against thee, man, and they have uh, all agreed to keep us in this low state of confusion, derision, not knowing who our true power is, because they know that the moment the nation of Israel starts to call upon their true power, you know, in the names of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, hey, man, it's game over. You know, that's why this great awakening that's happening is frowned upon, man, because they are, you know, each time a lesson goes out, uh, each time uh, a hopeful elect member is woken up to this truth, another part of this man's kingdom falls, man. And trust me, they're not saying, they're not telling us everything that's happening on the news because there's so much happening that, you know, if the world was to really know the extent of everything happening around the world, you know, uh, the people will bug out, man. And what Esau is trying to do, he's trying to, you know, control the narrative but, you know, he can only control the narrative for so long before he's going to, he himself is going to gonna have to admit that this, what's going on is of a higher power, man, and that he has no control, all right? But he wants to post this, he wants to, uh, to paint this false narrative that everything is under control and, you know, there's nothing to worry about, which is, that's far from the truth, man. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of you people are going to get caught lacking with your pants now, man. All right, a lot of you people are not ready for 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 uh for the times that we're about to come into, man. I mean, we got our doomsday preppers, but hey, their doomsday prepping is only gonna get them so far, man. All right, really and truly, if you don't have your howa bashim, your howa shah on your side, you're through, man. There's no other way to uh to survive the things that the heavenly Father has set to 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 happen uh, on this planet Earth, man. All right, let's read. Uh, in fact, let me not get too excited. Let me not get out yet. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. Uh, we'll start at verse 15. All right. right. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. So basically, hey man, when the Heavenly Father gets down and he does his thing for, you know, what you other nations tried to do to the nation of Israel, hey, don't, don't, don't cry, man. You know, don't, don't cry out in anguish and in pain. Or, oh, help me, Lord, help me, Lord. When, hey, when you are about to get everything you deserve, man. All right. Verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All right. So that goes for, you know, all the tabernacles, the tabernacles of Edom, of Amalek, the Philistines, the Ishmaelites. All right. All you heathen nations, man. All right. All, all you heathen nations 
that tried to devour the children of Israel. Well, guess what, man? Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All right. And all thine adversaries, every one of them. All right. Every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right. So you, uh, you heathen nations, man, that are confederate against thee, you know, you best enjoy it whilst it lasts, man. Because, hey, when our power comes back, when the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sends his son, Yahweh Shai, to bring forth his judgment, it's going to be a very, very gruesome day for you heathens, man, and for you wicked two-third Israelites that are not in this truth. All right? It's going to be a very, very, very cruel day for you guys, man. Let's get Jeremiah 15 and 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Such as are for death to death, And such as are for the sword to the sword, And such as are for the famine to the famine, And such as are for the captivity to the captivity, man. So you guys are going to get jacked up in multiple different ways, man. All you guys are part of your lot. Some of you guys are going to die by way of famine. Some of you guys are going to die by way of the sword. Some of you guys are going to eat a nuclear missile, man. All right? But all you nations are going into captivity. All right? The, all those nations, all the nations that are confederate against thee, you're all going into captivity, man. A long-drawn captivity for a thousand years. All right? And after the thousand years, you, you know, you heathen nations will send you back to your lands. But you're going to follow our laws, man. The law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, all right? And as for you Edomites, you're going to get Obadiah 118, man. You know, you're, you're going to be gathered up into a pit and you're all going to be burnt, man. Never to see a, another Edomite again. Oh, how how great would that be, man? All right? Because you guys are confederate against the most highest children, man. We are Yasharala. What, what does Yasharala mean? It means princes of the power, man. And you guys are confederate against the princes of the power, man. So what? Do you think the Heavenly Father is going to be coming back with hugs and kisses? That, oh yeah, everything crisp, everything calm. Oh, we're just going to squash it, man. Well, clearly, you guys ain't read um, uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Let's get that for you real quick. All right. Exodus 15 and 3, what does that read? It says, the Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Because you best believe our Heavenly Father, hey, he likes a good fight, man. You know, he likes a good fight. You know, the Heavenly Father is in control of all things. And how many, how many wars have we had since the beginning of time, man? You know? But you know, you Edomites are so proud. You, you, you think you can actually come up against the Most High and, and, and prevail. You know, how art thou fallen from heaven, man? You you guys are going to fall. Why does, you know, Yahweh Shai, he says in the book of Luke 10, that, you know, I beheld Satan and fall as lightning, man. What does that mean? He, he saw, you know, that means you Edomites went from your position of power to, uh, uh, to hell, to slavery, to low living standards, lightning fast, man. I beheld Satan and uh, fall as lightning, man. All right. But you see, what you other nations uh, seem to be forgetting is that the Heavenly Father, he's rounding you guys up, man, just so he can judge your ass. All right? That's, this is what you guys don't understand, man. Let's get... Uh, um, Zephaniah. I believe it's the book of Zephaniah. Yeah. Bear with me. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And who's the prey, man? The prey are all you nations listed in Psalms 83 that are confederate against thee, man. You are the prey. All right? Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, all right, all you nations that are confederate against thee, <laughs> excuse me, all right, the Heavenly Father's determination is to gather all you nations, all right, that I may assemble the kingdoms 
to pour upon them mine indignation, man, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, man. So all you guys that are confederate against thee, you know, uh, your nations are going up in smoke, man. You know, by way of what? Nuclear missiles. You know? So, you guys are not going to prevail, man. You know, like how you guys think in Psalms 49 that your your inward thought is that your, 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 your king, your houses shall dwell forever, man. That's not going to be the case. And, you know, you wicked are in for a very rude awakening, man, on the returning of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right? Let's go to the book of... Uh, of uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 We'll start at verse 10 Just to get a little glimpse Of how you wicked You wicked uh, 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 um, Edomites really think man Alright Along with you other heathen nations Wisdom of Solomon uh, 2 Starting at verse 10 Alright but this is mainly talking about Esau Because you know it's you Edomites that are Leading this world under a very wicked vibration, man, and everyone else, including two thirds of our people, are following after you. Yet your ways bring death, man, but you still got the whole world following after your ways that lead to death and not life. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient grey hairs of the aged. And that's exactly what you guys uh, uh, have been doing, man. You know, you've been oppressing the poor righteous man who is what? The nation of Israel, man. You, you guys didn't care. You didn't reverence the ancient grey hairs or, you know, um, you didn't have no sort of, no mercy, man. It was just, uh, it was pretty much that like one size fits all. It doesn't matter if you're old or young. We're going to put you under some harsh living conditions and you, we're going to work you to the bone, man. All right. Verse 11, let our strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth all right and that's exactly what you do man you guys basically you use your court systems your corrupt laws to um to um you know to lock up these israelites man you know you 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 because you know most of these prison systems uh are filled up with what the tribe of judah all right you got loads of israelites Filled up with the tribe of uh, 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 Judah, man. And that's followed by the northern kingdom, man. You know, you uh, 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 Issacharites and Ephraimites and so on and so forth, man. You, you guys also fill up the prison systems, man. Okay. Verse 12, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12. Let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. And he is clean, contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us... With with our with our offending the law, an objective, uh, uh, objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education, man. Because hey, we come against everything that you wicked guys, you wicked uh, elites try to push, man. All right, and we know that um, we are in a, a a different vibration from the rest of the world because this world is under a very wicked vibration. As well as we try and maintain that righteous vibration, man. All right. And you see, as it says here, he is clean contrary to our doings, man. So, you you know, you, you guys are filthy, man. All right. You know, down to the very to the very basics, even hygienically, you guys are filthy, man. All right. Verse 13. He professeth to have knowledge of the Most High and he calleth himself the child of the Lord, and that's what we call ourselves, man, you know, uh, uh, Yasharala, princes of the power, all right, verse 14, he was made to reprove our thoughts, and that's exactly what we do, man, you know, you got the, uh, 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 the prophets on the highways and the byways, on the various streaming platforms on the web, you, you know, basically rebuking uh, your ways, man, and coming up against the things that, 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 uh, um, the laws and legislations that you put that you force upon the people man all right all right but look this is this is what the 
the wicked think of us, man. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 15. He is grievous unto us even to behold, man. So, hey, man, when they see our faces doing these videos, or they see us in the highways and byways, bringing out the truth on the downfall of their kingdom and the uprising of our kingdom under our Lord, Yahweh Shai, they can't stand to see our faces, man. Because, you know, first of all, they, they tried so hard. They spent so much money and so much time, um, uh, you know, to keep this knowledge away from us, but we've still obtained it, man. Why? Through means of the Rakhak, the Rakhak Wadash, man, the Holy Spirit. All right. And you know, so so we're grievous to look upon, man, because they know that what we're saying is the truth, man. It's the cold, harsh truth. And unfortunately, well, what do they say, man? The truth hurts, and that's exactly what's happening, man. This truth is hurting these the wicked. All right. He's grievous unto us even to behold, for his life is not like other men's, his ways are of another fashion, all right? Because we move in the spirit of the Lord, man, which is very uh, contrary to the spirit and the vibration that's in this world right now, all right? Um, verse 16, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits, but that's exactly what you are, man. You guys ain't righteous, you guys ain't holy, you guys ain't sovereign people, man. You, you guys... Uh, 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 you know, are basically bottom of the barrel, man. But you guy, but you've got you've got princes, um, as slaves, and then you've got these slaves as as kings, man. All right, because these wicked Edomites, they're not made to serve, man. Clearly, they're not made to serve because look, man, they're killing. They kill as Elder Apostle Gabar says. These guys are the harbingers of death, man. Anything they lay their hands on, they kill. All right. They go into these countries and they have massive genocides. When you you know look at the look at the trees, man. The trees are most of them are dead. Um, you know. So lucky I'm just getting a phone call. Um, what else, man? You know you poison our water, you poison our food, everything, man. So you you know, uh, we you guys are esteemed as counterfeits, man, because you are not the people. All right, you are not fit to rule Esau. All right, he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed because, hey, you know, we're almost out of this captivity, man. You know, this is this is basically like the last lap. And when you know, Lord willing, we're soon home, starting with the elect. Um, he pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed. And, uh, this police officer doing there. So lucky. And make of his boast that Yahweh is his father. All right, and that's what we do, man. We boast that a hey, the heavenly father, he he's our power, man. Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai. All right, so lucky. This police officer just came on their back, just moving weird, man. You know, but hey, that's 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 what we do, man. We boast in Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai. All right. Let's go to. Uh, Weirdos, man. These Edomites are weird, man. Weird ass. Let's go to Psalms 73. Uh, we'll start at the top. And it reads, Truly, the Most High Yahweh is good to Israel, even to such are, uh, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. All right. And, you know, before coming into this truth, we was basically envious at the wicked, man. You know, because we see. Even whilst being in this truth, furthermore, man, because we see you people just, just thriving in your wickedness, man. It's as if, you know, um... Wicked is the way to be, man. And if you're not wicked and you don't carry that wicked vibration, then things just don't work out for you in this world as you'd like them to, man. So, hey, as it says, Psalm 73 and 3, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. You know, you guys pretty much live an easy life, man. You don't struggle the way 
the true man of the Lord out of to struggle, man. All right. Verse five. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. All right, because here you are, you've got uh, the, the, the princes of the power in division, in a low state, in captivity. And, you know, you, you boast in your oppression, man. All right, you're, you're, you, you know, you see that as a, as a, as a, as a massive achievement, man. Having the, the sons of the Most High under your, uh, um, under your jurisdiction. All right. Uh, let's jump down to verse 21. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was a beast. I was a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Because, hey amen, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and truth that we obtain in eventually is going to lead to our glory man lord willing we enjoy until the very end and we'll be a part of that elect man this is gonna this is gonna lead to our glory man all right wisdom of solomon 5 and 2 where they're watching the strangeness of of, of, of our salvation man you know beholding those that they had in derision you know when they see up when they see us mount up with wings as eagles, when they see that spiritual power on us when they see that glow on us man they're gonna be heavily confounded man all right, uh, where was I? Verse 24, Psalm 73, 24. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee, man. And that's, that's the hopeful elect, man. We don't desire anything or anyone other than Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. My flesh and my heart faileth, but the Most High Yahweh is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all men, all them that go a whoring from thee. All right. So the Heavenly Father, he's going to destroy all those that come up against the truth and his men that speak this truth, man. All right. That goes for you wicked two third Israelites and you heathen nations, man. All right. Verse 28, but it is good for me to draw near to the Most High. I have put my trust in the Lord Yahweh that I may declare all thy works. And that's exactly what we're doing, man. We're declaring his works. And, you know, Lord willing, when he sends his son down, Yahweh Shai, we're glorified with him, pursuing to St. John, uh, I think that's chapter 3, verse 1. All right. You know, because, hey, you know, if we go, uh, if we jump down to verse 16, and it says, When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went to the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I their end, man. So all you nations that are confederate against thee, we, you know, that's fine. Do your thing, man, because at the end of the day, we understand your end. All right. We was envious at first. But now, let, we're just going to let you do your thing, man. Because at the end of the day, you're bringing forth prophecy. And you know, we... Uh, the quicker you do this thing, the quicker we can get out of here, man. The quicker you mandate this MOTB. Um, and, and, and you know, the quicker you, you press that red button and the nukes go flying, man. The quicker we get to inherit our kingdom, man. Alright? But you see, you guys will not prevail because you come up against us in great pride. And wickedness, all right. Let's close out here in um, First Maccabees. I did bring this out in one of my my recent lessons as well, but you know it's a heavy hitter, man. It's a heavy hitter, I think. First Maccabees three and nineteen. For the victory of battle standeth not in the multitude of an host, but strength coming from heaven, man. So it doesn't matter how many nations are confederate against thee. How many uh, uh, mil militant people you can round up, man? Because strength coming from heaven, man.
You know, our forefathers, we had one man chase a thousand man. We had one man slew a thousand, you know. So it doesn't matter how many of you nations are confederate against us. The, those that truly fear the Lord, the true names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and worshiping in, in, in truth and sincerity will prevail, man. All right. First Maccabees 3 and 20. They come, they come against us in much pride and iniquity to destroy us and our wives and children and to spoil us. But we, we fight for our lives and our laws. And that's what we're doing, man. We're fighting to keep this truth going, man. We're fighting for this wisdom, knowledge, understanding and truth to be preached on the four corners of the earth, man. And to wake up the elect. All right. So we fight for our lives and our laws, man. Wherefore, the Lord himself will overthrow them before our face. And as for you, be ye not afraid of them, man. So all the nations that are confederate against us, be ye not afraid of them, man. Because our Lord himself will, over, will overthrow them before our face. And as for you, be not afraid of them, man. Be ye not afraid of them, all right? So we need not to fear because we know the names of the highest powers in the entire universe, man. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And whenever we feel a bit weak in the spirit, a bit low in the spirit, or we need that boost, we pray to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And we must have faith that he will carry, that he will follow through with our prayers, man. Uh, we, we can't be praying and be, be weak-minded, man. We must believe that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will answer our prayers, man. All right? So, hey, man, hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.